Hi. Um, so let's learn about Meteor today. First, let's open up Chrome. Go to meteor.com. And then we'll go over to documentation. And the way to install Meteor is just to open up your terminal. And copy this line right here. Go to your terminal, paste it. And it'll run through this uh, download for a second. Okay. Um, now, once you're done doing that, you can navigate to whatever directory you want. And then Okay, so now I'm in my uh, users Cory sites meteor test folder, and now if I just run meteor create um, meteor test, it'll make another uh, meteor test folder inside of this folder. So if we cd into that project, we'll clear our screen. Now all we have to do is type Meteor, Oops. and it says it's running on localhost 3000. So if we go to there, if we go to localhost 3000, while this uh, Meteor server is running, then we can open up um, our console. And if we click this button here, you can see that you know we're doing stuff. We press the button, click it again. Now, if we want, we can go and uh, go into Finder, find your project, wherever it is. Let's open up the uh, HTML and JavaScript folders. Okay. Actually, let's. Okay. So now we've got our uh, HTML and JavaScript files open. Um, so here you can see that, you know, if it's on. Me Meteor does uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, it runs on the client side and it runs on the server at the exact same time, which is really handy for, you know, like if, you, if you're sick of doing Ajax and having to set up like your server side stuff first and then going with uh, JavaScript and making a trip over there just to replicate all that functionality. Where Meteor runs on a Node.js, which is like a JavaScript for the server side, uh, you don't have to do those extra steps, so it's really uh, easy to r read and write things to the database in like a real-time environment. Um, but let's it, so so how does it do that? First, it goes. Uh, it's got like a specific structure in the HTML. Uh, it just, like you'll notice it doesn't have like HTML tags wrapping everything. Um, it just has a head, and you can uh, add whatever you want inside of your head tags. It's got a body, um, which is just like normal body tags. And then you'll see like this weird curly brace thing. This just says um, echo this template right here. So if we made you know another one that was like... there or something. And then we made another template and save that. You'll see I didn't even have to refresh. Um, that's another thing that Meteor does. It automatically refreshes. It's kind of monitoring uh, your environment, like, uh, 
So every single time that you save, it'll update. Um, but you see how we added that template right there, the hi there template. This syntax here, it's called handlebars. Um, and if you don't know anything about JavaScript templating, um, it's basically just a way that you can write like these, this markup looking stuff here, and you can just pop in variables. So like that thing there, that thing right there, that greeting variable, you'll see it over here, um, right here, template, hello, greeting. So that's saying, go find the template, go find a template with the name of hello. So template, go find a template with the name of hello, so dot hello, and then find uh, the greeting, or uh, this is defining the greeting. So we're saying, you know, this, whatever template that's named hello, we're defining something called greeting in it. And what we're returning from that is a function, just an anonymous function. It's not named or anything, it's just, you know, just says function, so it just returns stuff. And it says, uh, return welcome to Meteor Test. So if we change this to something like uh, return welcome to Meteor Test, and then saved it, again, I didn't have to refresh, it automatically updated. So that's just kind of a primer about uh, how to install Meteor and kind of like what these templates are and how they interact with your JavaScript file. Um, and in the next one, we'll talk more about what, what kind of things you can do with it. So thanks.